Hey there guys, so in this short video today, I want to have a little chat about how we create a countdown. Now, in terms of a countdown, obviously you know the idea of it, it sort of ticks down from a certain date. We're running a webinar on Friday, so this is why this is coming to light. I wanted to, when we do like social media posts, or maybe put something on the website, or on email, I wanted just to have the countdown in there, just to sort of help focus people's minds on uh, on the actual date. I want to show you how we created that today, maybe show you a few few examples. I'm going to show you two services because the one, the one I think is quite is better, but sometimes it's offline. So I want to give you a, a plan B as well. First off, let's just see some examples so we know what we're talking about. Right, I want to share my screen in a sec so we can get a feel for it. Okay, let's have a little look. Okay, so we're over here on Twitter, and we're seeing one of the services. And you can see if you've not got the pro version, it'll just put this little sort of banner thing on the top of it. I don't really think that gets in the way, so... If you want to use the free version, fine. But you can see the general point here, I've done a tweet and it's counting down. It's eye-catching and it helps just sort of uh, reaffirm the fact that this is a the scarcity here, this is a time-based event. So that's on Twitter. Um, it can also work really well in email. So yeah, there's an email here and you can see if you embed the image directly, obviously you, the person's got to be able to see images. I think sometimes by default, it hides images in the emails, but as long as they click that link and the images expand, you can see, yeah, the countdown works works perfectly. And if we go over to LinkedIn, you can see the same principle applies. Now I've put a post here and you've got the countdown in there. So, right, so you get the idea of it. How can we create these things? Well, there's two services, as I say. The first one I came across, which is running this one here, which as you see is a very clean countdown, is one called Timer Plus. I'll put all the links um, somewhere where you can find them, so you don't have to worry about it too much. Timer.plus, this is called. Now this is, you've got to get your head around this one to use it a little bit. It's not quite straightforward, but what you do, what I do is this. If you see here, it says image source, and then we've got the URL of the GIF. It's called a GIF, or an animated GIF. I'm going to copy that URL, and I'll drop it into the address bar here. Press return, and after a couple of seconds, oh, this one's expired already. Doesn't matter. I'll show you the principle. The concept, though, is that the URL, these bits here, actually refer to the countdown. So the fourth month, that's April. Well, my event is on the 24th. Reasons why I recommend the other service because this one could be a bit slow. And um, the actual date is two o'clock in the afternoon. So that would be 24 hour clock. So that would be 14. However, this service runs on New York time. So I think that would be about seven o'clock in the morning. So if I put that seven, I don't know why you put zeros the second in there and stuff, but still I'd zero those out. And then in a second or two, uh, in a second or two, the uh, page will refresh and we'll get my amended countdown. So what you can do now you, you can right click that image and save it to the desktop as whatever you want it to. And from there, of course, you can import it into a tweet or you could put it into your email campaign. Important point here is that that doesn't contain the full countdown, of course. It's just showing a couple of frames. I don't know how long, I don't know, maybe a minute or two. You can't just sit there and watch the whole thing tick down. It's not, it's not a program in that sense. It's just like um, a few frames of, of a movie. So if I put this out today, uh, then that would work fine, of course. But let's say I put another one out tomorrow or the day after. I probably have to go through this process again so I've got a new GIF. So that's using Timer Plus. I'll just go back to the Timer Plus homepage so you recognize it. It tries to give some instructions here, but hopefully that little talk through then will, will help you out a bit. Now, sometimes I've gone to Timer Plus and, and the service has been down. So I've had to dig around for another service. And, and the other one is this one called Create a Countdown Clock. Now it's got two options here. It's got one where you can do website countdowns. Now websites are a lot more capable than say a tweet or a lot more capable than what you can put on a, in an email. So you've got a lot more functionality you can play with and the, and the countdown clock can be a lot, um, a lot slicker. Um, but I'm not going to worry too much about websites at the moment. We're talking about the email really here. I mean, the website was very straightforward. Oh, look, I'm here now, so we can talk about it. Put whatever details you want in here, 
and that you can grab this embed code. Yeah, it's there. It's as simple as that. Grab that and drop that into the text version of your website and the countdown clock will show. However, that's not really the bit I wanted to show you. I want to show you email countdowns. So this is where we're creating an image again. So you can embed it on, on LinkedIn or on Twitter and stuff, stuff like that. There we go. So I might put countdown here, something along those lines. I might change this date. Up there. I oh, said so May. That's why I was confused then. Put a, put a time in there. I might want to change the color and stuff. I quite like this light font. Do you see it's putting that little banner there? You can, oh, this size can make it a bit bigger, I suppose. But if you make it a bit bigger, I think it kind of it minimizes the impact of that little banner. Again, you can right click and save. Now, the only problem here is that I find this one plays up a little bit on, on LinkedIn. Um, I'll have to dig into the nerdy detail about it, but I think there's different ways they can create these animated GIFs, and for some reason, LinkedIn doesn't like the, the one this pleases. You saw it work well on, on Twitter. If I go back over there, it worked there well, they're fine. And I think that one works on 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 uh, Facebook as well. But for some reason, LinkedIn doesn't like that other version. So either way, you've got two tools to choose from there. And there is a blog post which goes along with this as well. But I think that blog post just talks mainly about time and place. Either way, enjoy. Oh, hang on, before I go, you see it says refreshed. That's going back to that point I made where it doesn't contain all the frames. So if I just, if I do actually just refresh that, Ta-da! It's counting down. But of course, it's counting down from that initial frame, from the point in time which I set it from, which is why we've got to create them every couple of days. So, so there we go. I hope you found that interesting and uh, enjoy.